Hey guys, here's another episode of Fuck a Trout. Today, we're going to be learning how to tie uh, one of probably the most effective flies um, around this time of year. Um, especially, it worked great for me um, in the spawning seasons of the um, of the year. So, um, obviously, we're going to be tying a glow bug. Now, this glow bug is the easiest glow bug you could tie um but it's so effective there's no tricky like dots and bits that you have to put on well a lot of bits that you have to put on um a lot of you expert fly tires are going to say what are you doing um i am now going to say i am self-confessed worst fly tire in the history of fly tying but if i can do it I'm pretty sure you guys can. I have just one tip for any fly tire that's trying to tie glow bugs because it's actually not that easy. But the one tip, and if you can get it wrong, you need to probably not fly tie. But the one tip I'm going to give you guys for tying glow bugs is this McFly foam. It is honestly the best i've tried waspy i've tried another one and all my glow bugs have just turned out shite so mcfly foam is the way to go but anyway let's get into this i'm just going to set up a few things and um yeah we'll and try hammer this out and hopefully you guys can use it and uh if you do make sure you send me a photo if you tie it and then show me if you catch a fish on it make sure you send me a photo i might might suss a little something out for, you know, whoever does it. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Super easy. Now I'll show you how to tie it. Well, I'm just going to sort out a few things. Hold on. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Um... But I've started off with a, uh, with a M12, uh, size hook, black magic hook. It does have a barb on it, um, you can squash it, you can leave it on, um, it's up to you. I'm not a big barb, barbless kind of guy. I do prefer barbless as it's easier to take out of the fish's mouth. But, anyhow, so I'm using black. Uh, thread um, a lot of people are going to crucify me for that too because you probably shouldn't be using the same colour as your uh, what is it your McFly foam so what I do is I take out probably that much what's that 20 centimetres and I'll snip it off over here There you go. Wait on. No, 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 no. Look, I've, I've already forgotten how to tie this fly. Ice dubbing, UV pill. Buy it from uh, Telpo Tackle Rod and Reel or something. I, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, it's like five, yeah, five bucks. And this stuff acts as the sack of the egg so you don't need to grab a lot um i only grab probably like that much it's not a lot and then i just kind of want to make it not as stringy kind of twist it a little bit and then we're going to wrap around and kind of just secure it to the hook easy peasy japanese easy squeezy now the hard part not really so you get your muck fly foam as i say 20 centimeters or so place it on the hook like so i hope you guys can see this this could turn out really really bad but i might zoom in see if that helps all right look at that look at that right now, you chuck on your thingamabob about halfway, your McFly foam. 
wrap it around once. I, yep, so that's about good. It's sitting halfway in the hook. Wrap it around twice. Wrap it around three times. I lift these up. Oh no, my dubbin's coming out. See, self-confessed worst fly tire. Ah, go away. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work out. This is turning out to be a disaster. But as you can see, uh, I wrap it around here a few more times. No. Oh, this is this is fantastic. Can you like not? Thank you. Wrap it, uh, wrap it around there. I've, so I've wrapped it around like so a few times. And then I'm going around and around, back around, back around, back around, back around. Now, just going to get my whip finish, finish her. Right, finish her. Going to whip finish one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. Clip it off there. See you later. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, we're right. So, you want to pull up on a, as hard as you can. You want this to actually kind of move. And that's how you know you've pulled it up. I cut about, uh, what is it? Maybe 10 centimeters above. Maybe not even that. And I want to cut like uh, so. And then it makes a little puff ball. And you just use your fingers to finesse it around. Uh, finesse. Hey, look, little puff ball, sweet as. Now. I kind of mucked up, you're not supposed to cut the thread off, so I'm just going to have to re-add that. <laughs> this is this is like a disaster, but you know what? Fly tying is a disaster, so you want to get your, as you can see, my UV stuff, and I, I just kind of thread it over it, and so it's all kind of just chilling on your, on your egg. And then you just want to wrap around and grab those loose ends. Now the trick here is to not cut all the fluffy stuff away. You want to keep it on because in the water... Oh, come on. Man, this is a great first tutorial. In the water, this stuff all kind of seeps, flows to the back. And it looks like um, an egg sack. And it's really... It looks really, really nice. I quite enjoy it. You know, then we're just gonna whip finish here. One, two. One, two. And shabuya. That's your egg. Done. Look at that. Flipping. Whoa. Come on. Need it to focus. This is gonna be a great edit. Yep. And that is gonna catch your fish. Look how rugged it is. Um, I've actually recorded this. Um, I've recorded this on what day is it today? I've recorded this on Thursday, and this the action you're about to see was recorded on Saturday. I was supposed to do a time fly. Um, like a big like, oh look how many fish I caught. But um, because I'm still learning what we can call it um i've only tied like three of these three of the flies that you just saw that i tied and um yeah so i lost them really fast and i only caught one fish on it and it was a disaster so now you know how to tie it check out the fish i just caught oh, i've caught on it and um yeah i'll see you after this action we on on the glow bug boys it's a nice looking fish actually
Here you go. Nice fair fella. So homemade glowy. Right in the corner on the front of that mouth there, smoked it. Nice fatty actually. Beautiful fish. Let him go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, just a little tie and fly thing. I'm hoping to do more. I'm going to show you my favourite bomb to tie. Um, my favourite uh, little nymph. Um, like a, I won't, I won't spoil them. But it's nothing amazing. Honestly guys, as you can see, I, I can hardly tie a glow bug. Which is probably one of the easiest things to tie. Um, but... I want to help people, I want people to learn, I want people to get into you know the art of fly fishing and the art of fly tying because it's such a good feeling um, catching fish on your own uh, flies. So anyway, um, I've got some pretty big news. Um, if you guys aren't friends with me on Facebook, you won't know that my wife is currently 31 weeks pregnant, which means that my little baby girl is due on the 3rd of september i'm really really excited i i am i'm a little bit uh a little bit scared but uh i guess that's normal so i'm having a little baby girl on the 3rd of well i don't know when i'm going to have her but she's around due on the 3rd of september um, which is awesome because that means she gets a month before her dad isn't home every saturday um no but um, so that's going to be interesting. I'm still going to try to keep up with my videos and my same schedule, which isn't amazing because I am well known for not doing, being very consistent. But I have been very well, very good in the last uh, month or so. But um, yeah, um, so that's big. That's my biggest news. And I've got some side big news. I'm going to be teaming up with uh, Roger Productions, as you just saw, I'm um, watching his vids, so uh, he can get a, get some views, not like he needs them, but if you guys haven't heard of Roger Productions, check him out, he's uh, a crack up, um, I can't wait to go fishing, we're going to go fishing uh, in some of the Taupo rivers, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, and um, yeah, I'm going to be teaming up with him, um, I'm going to show him how it's done really. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, we're gonna be fishing together. Um, probably make a vid, and um, I'm. I'm actually really, really excited to to meet the dude. He seems like such an awesome guy. Um, great bloke, makes awesome vids. He's um, just a real genuine dude. And I, yeah, as I say, I'm pumped. I'm ready. Let's go, Roggy. Let's get out there. Let's uh, slay a few few bows and. Um, see what we can do but um, thank you all for watching and by the way guys thank you so much for all your support with the whole uh, other stuff that's going on that I don't really need to mention but I just want to thank you all for your sweet messages um, it just means a lot that you guys are out there supporting me and um, I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing and I uh, hope you guys are keen to join me along the ride so that's it for now I think I've tried to end it several times but that's it for now Thank y'all for watching, y'all for watching, um, and yeah, I'll see you on the next episode of Fuck Chat, which we'll probably have uh, Roger in it. So yeah, thanks for watching, later.